Hey, what's up? Ken at Palm Beach Dino here. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick video on intercooler hosing. A lot of people, obviously, uh, you know, Roush blowers, VMP blowers, Kenny Bell, Whipple, all these top mount blowers, Magnuson, they all come with air to water intercoolers. And of course, uh, many turbocharge applications, centrifugal blowers also eventually, at some point, uh, upgrade to an air to water intercooler. Um, so the question is, is what do you do on the cooling side? So what's become extremely popular over the last five or 10 years is a trunk mounted intercooler tank. Uh, we use the TIG Vision one. There's a few others out there, uh, but normally you buy the tank and you're a little bit, uh, it's a little bit up to you on how you want to do the hoses and the fittings and all that sort of things. And there's so many different ways to do it. We've been doing this a long time and we've gone through quite a different, uh, ways to do it, uh, rubber hose, AN line, that sort of thing. Um, the AN line, first off, is pretty cost prohibitive. Uh, you're talking, uh, the, the fittings are very expensive, the line is very expensive, and things like that. And you don't really need uh, all the benefits that an AN line uh, bring to the table. Uh, the other common thing I've seen used is this right here. I call it Home Depot hose. Uh, you can probably get it lots of different places. This is a reinforced, um, I'm not sure what it's made out of, rubber, plastic, uh, set up, and it works pretty good, but here's what happens, right? You go, first off, most of the time we want a one inch ID hose, so that gets, makes things a little challenging to begin with for routing reasons. So you're gonna have to bend corners and sort of thing, things like that. So this is a brand new hose. It hasn't seen any heat yet whatsoever, and I'm gonna go ahead and start bending it around a turn. Oh, you see that in the middle? That's not gonna flow very well. And uh, intercooler pumps don't really work under pressure or very well under pressure. Some of them do, it depends on which one you're using. So you don't want any pressure buildup. Maybe with a really badass pump that puts out some pressure, it'll help straighten that out, but not really. So what I wanna show you today is hose that I've been using for about a year or two. I get a lot of questions about hose, uh, what to use and all that. So we're gonna go ahead and start selling it as of today. This is it right here. It looks very similar, but it's not. First off, you can see the actual uh, wall thickness is not nearly the same. So this makes it a little easier to work with. Uh, it's a little smaller to get through any uh, spots you have to get through where you just might have, a, you know, if you gotta go through a piece of metal, you, you have to drill a smaller hole to get this through than you do to get this through, uh, common sense. But here's the key to this hose. It's very, very reinforced, okay? This is some really high grade hose and you're talking, look at that. Look at the bending radius you have on that. And that will hold. Uh, we ran this hose on Jimmy Cacoletris's S550 turbo car, uh, Ballard's Whipple car, all that. They both had very good temperature uh, uh, readings on their blower. And I actually uh, give some of the credit to this hose here. Uh, so go ahead, we've got a link in our description. You can click on that. It's priced by the foot. Uh, every car is going to require a different amount of hose, so that's kind of up to you to pre-measure it and order what you need. And we'll have this in stock uh, when you're ready to order. So go ahead and get it ordered up. And no more wondering what intercooler hose to use. K2 Ultimate Intercooler Hose. This is it right here.